speaker for you guys, so stick around. It's Sofia Benjumea who's going to tell you a bit more about Campus Madrid, a new entrepreneurial hub right here in the city of Madrid for you guys. Next up, Sofia Benjumea. Woo, 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 woo. Spain is a place to come. It's amazing weather, it's a, a great place to live. We have great engineers, we have very motivated people. You have all the ingredients that you need for creating your life and your business. Have you heard about sangria and the sun? <laughs> Madrid has incredible companies that are growing very fast that the world doesn't know yet about. We've gone through a great evolution in the startup community in the last five years, and now it's the time to really help the startups from Spain go global. Campus Madrid is Google's space for entrepreneurs to come together to learn, connect, and build companies that will really change the world. This is basically going to be the, let's say, the anchor for all these people that are, have been doing stuff around the entrepreneurial ecosystem, and it's going to be the anchor that brings them together to collaborate. Madrid today doesn't yet have a neighborhood for tech startups, and I believe the Google campus is in a unique opportunity to create a neighborhood where tech startups will actually all come together. The most important thing is that now you feel there's a community with the, you can share experiences, you don't feel alone. It's just the one thing that we're, we're missing, the one link that's going to bring everyone together to collaborate. This is Spain's time. This is our time. Come join us. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Not easy, not easy to jump on the scene after SpaceX, Hyperloop, DFJ, but I'll do my best. So I am Sofia Manjumea. I'm the head of Campus Madrid, and I'm here to share with you a little bit the campus experience and how we apply the principles of innovation at Google at Campus for Entrepreneurs. But I couldn't, oh, how does this work? There you go. No. Tick. I couldn't start without saying how special it is, especially for me, to be today here. Uh, because back in 2012, I founded my two startups. One has now become a three-year-old kid, and the other, we're all sitting in it. It's South Summit. And I couldn't stop crying this morning to see uh, this come true and to see how Liz and the team are just keeping to raise the bar and raise the bar and putting the South and putting Madrid in uh, the map, so really proud of the whole team. But well, I'm here to talk about innovation, not about myself. Um, so innovation, it's actually, we live in a world that is in constant change. And the only way to actually keep up with the pace of innovation is to stay above and to stay, above, I mean, behind, before the, the curve of technology and always move um, out of your comfort zone still constantly adapting and changing. And that's what Google has been doing for more than 15 years since it got founded, as you can see with the changes of the, of, of, of the logo. Do any of you know actually why the last change in the like, logo of Google? It was actually to have the best experience for mobile. And many people were like, what did you do? It was like, don't be afraid of actually making changes if you think that it's going to be the best for the user. And actually, the first principle that we try to share with our entrepreneurs and actually is actually create a mission, get a mission, and make it matter if it's even more important. Like, this is something that's going to be the core of any step that you take throughout your whole life of your startup. Back in, like, like more than 15 years ago, Sergey and Larry founded Google in a garage, and they had the mission to organize the world's information to make it more accessible and useful. And that mission hasn't changed since, and they keep following it, and they keep dictating everything that we do at Google. So as an advice for entrepreneurs and what we do to campus is, be sure that whatever problem you choose to solve, make it matter. 
make it matter for as many people as possible, but especially also make it matter for you. Because at the end, this is going to be in the long run what you use to inspire your users, to inspire your team, to inspire investors. And let's face it, entrepreneurship is not an easy thing. It's not an easy trip. So you better just launch and do something that you're passionate about, but also that matters. And actually, four years ago, because Google has never forgotten and has never lost its passion in entrepreneurship, in innovation, and hasn't forgotten how difficult it is to actually launch, to actually start a startup. And they are very aware that Google would maybe never be what Google is now if it wasn't for where they were born. And four years ago, a new mission was born within Google, with Google for Entrepreneurs. And our mission that drives me here today is actually to bring together startup communities and creating spaces around the world to learn and work. And that's also how Campus was born, and that was launched here in Madrid uh, three months ago. And it's a physical space. And you would say, why does Google, like, with such technology, decide to just foster ecosystems through a physical space? Like, this is old stuff. Well, it works. The power of physical space it was actually brings people together, as we are here today at Las Ventas. It's actually a space where you can learn through the education programs that we build, connect with the community, be in touch and real in touch with the investors, with the tech guys, with the entrepreneurs, with the institutions and corporations, and of course, work and work hard on the projects that we hope will make a difference in the future and become global projects. This is briefly, I'll drive you through the space for those of you that haven't been there, is a 2,500 meter, square meters, like amazing industrial store. It's an open source building where we have a cafe, an auditorium, and some co-working space. The cafe is the heart of it. I'm gonna go fast through this just to, and any of you guys, you just can come in and work from here from Monday to Friday from nine to seven. You just need to register on our website and become a member. We're already more than 8,000 members since we opened. Then we have our partners, Tech Hub. We've got also Seed Rocket, Texas, and Tetuan Valley seeding our space in the second and the third floor. And by that, we follow on our mission, bringing startup communities together. We're not an accelerator, we're not a co-working, but we work with those that we believe are the best and are also the ones that are aligned with our mission and trying really to foster entrepreneurship. And they're the ones that fill the space with startups, high quality startups that are working there. And since they're there, they're like, things are happening here and things are happening faster. And also is a home for community events. We, every week we host more than 50, 15 events from the community that are just here to empower and help us create a much more diverse startup ecosystem. And of course, all the educational layer, I'll talk to you in a minute. But the second principle of Google for innovation that I wanted to share with you is focus on the user. The rest will follow. This is what you would find in 1998 when you enter Google, like one of the, in, the first, in the first days. And it would have been easier to say, let's just change the page rank, see what happens, and we'll make money from day one. But that wouldn't have been fair for the user. That wouldn't have been aligned with the mission of Google. But if you focus on the user from day one, if you really so focus on solving their problems, their pain points, the business model will come, the rest will follow, the money will follow. And we're also trying to do that at campus. We're not making any money there, but we're trying to make our users are happy, our user are entrepreneurs. So there, we do it by the way we shape the space and the way we shape the programs. We work our, we're hosting talks at campus, inspirational talks to actually help entrepreneurs see where they can head, like where, how far they can go. And we ask our community, who do you want to hear and how? We also organize mentoring sessions at campus. More than 50% of the Google office, their Googlers, are helping us give mentoring one-on-ones to the startups um, that are needing it uh, on analytics, on metrics, on sales, on big data, UX experience. And also, for example, Campus Exchange. That was actually listening to your users. We did a campus tour around Spain before launching Campus three months ago, and we realized that we've got a, an amazing ecosystem, national ecosystem, but extremely fragmented. And for those that are starting in Vigo, in Estremadura, in Malaga, it's not that easy to actually get to the VCs or the corporates. So we realized and we launched Campus Exchange, bringing eight amazing startups from B2B to actually spend a whole week in campus and getting in touch with the VCs, the local VCs and industries. 
And all these guys are now closing deals with these corporates and close to raising funds. Another thing that I can't stop selling is think big. Just think big and think differently. This is the only way to scope. As Astro Taylor, who is the captain of Moonshots, as they call him, for Google S, says, if you want a car to run at 50 miles per gallon, OK, you just need to fine tune a little bit the car. But if you're asked to actually run on one gallon at 500 miles, you have to start over again. And you have to think differently. And that's what we ask our entrepreneurs. Be more ambitious and think big and think differently. And that's the first thing you will see when you get into campus. Madrid, a huge mural of Ricardo Cabola, a Spanish painter, with a huge message of unstoppable. Let's all become unstoppable. But even if we want you to think big, we're realistic. You need to start small. You need to start with what you can. But this is good. Innovation is not perfection. We don't ask you to come up with a perfect product. Um, actually, most of the Google products, they're always launched to the public in beta, because that's the way we work. We launch. Then we measure our impact, we're in touch with the user's feedback, with data, not opinions, and then we iterate. And that's what we ask our startups. We ask them to launch whenever they are yet still uncomfortable to launch. When they're at that moment in which they're not sure that they can, that's the moment in which you need to get to the users and get their feedback. Because most startups don't fail because they don't have the perfect product. They fail because they, don't ha they haven't developed the market. They don't know the user and their feedback. Gamify is one of the startups that was working from the cafe from day one. And they were there with this amazing app that they were not ready to launch. We had a party three, three weeks ago, and I say, it has to be ready for the party. It was ready. Now they've entered the Tuetuan Valley product. And I, like, we have big dreams for these guys. Open always will win. This is something that also drives Google from the internal communications. Everyone can know what Larry Page's OKRs are for the quarter. Or every, every Friday and Thursday, there's this TGIF thing. I'm still getting used to it, in which they just tell everybody who happens to want what's going on in the company, what's really going on that week. And that's something very important to the culture of your startup. Let everyone know where you're heading, what's the goal. But also get an open source, like the, with uh, Google Play, for example, or the open APIs for um, for Google Maps. And at campus, it's just an open space. As I was saying, you just need to walk in, become a member, and walk in, and be part of our community, and make it your home. That's the whole thing. There's not one single logo, Google logo at Campus Madrid. Many people say, why? Why did you do that? It makes total sense. This is a neutral space for you guys to feel comfortable and to feel that you can work on your product. And also, of course, is a space that we want our entrepreneurs to keep up building as if it was an open source um, building. Six, it's all about, this is like kind of the trend now. It's OK to fail. It's like, OK, it's easy to say, but it's not that easy to actually really take the, take the leap and jump. But you need to create in your startups, you need to create a safe environment. This is a state. A statement for Larry and Sergey, in which they wrote to the whole company how they know that some of the past bets have gone extraordinarily well, but some have not. But with, without any of those, they wouldn't be where they are now. Because when you risk, you fail. But when you risk, you also succeed. All these products have more than 1 billion users today. And this, I don't really know if this one is one of the Google's innovation, but I put it because I think it's good for, for the Spanish startups. It's think global. I mean, we, we need to start small. We are here, but we've got a pretty good market, but it's not big enough. Be ambitious to think global from day one. And what we're trying to do at campus is actually facilitate this global um, access for you guys. So Campus Madrid is not just four walls for you to work from there, but it's also a window and a door to the global ecosystem. So we've got spaces in uh, London, Tel Aviv, Seoul, and now Madrid. Warsaw is opening in a month, and Sao Paulo will be opening in six months. But with all our partners, we've got spaces in more than 120 countries. So take advantage of this. And for example, I actually want to tell this because the applications are still open. If you're working on, if you're a scale-up startup, if you're working on retail or fashion, on tourism or in gaming, apply to GFE Exchange. It will be a one-week opportunity to work on that market where your industry is leading on your product with big help and big access to reference startups, VCs, and the industry. 
And to finish, of course, have fun. Create an environment in which having fun is good. This is going to be, your team is going to be the people with the one who are going to spend the most time. So take care. And at campus, we take care of our community. It's okay to work. We need to work, work, work. But it's also sometimes it's good to get connected and just have a back to school party in September, for example. Because there's also when you get to know, you kind of um, close and, and, and break the barriers and actually you get people to collaborate more easily and in a much more um, good ambience. So just finishing up really is I, I ask you to enjoy these days here. And if you stay here in Madrid or in Spain, come and visit us, Campus Madrid. It's your home, so it's open for you guys. We're already 8,500 members. We're 30% women, which is pretty huge for this industry. And um, that's it. So just come join us. And thank you very much, all of you. Thank you.